go. I'm ready. Right, let me let me jump in real quick. Every good evening, everybody. What's happening? Sorry, I was no, late. No. I'm sorry I was late. I was I was being a, a father to my daughter. We'll get into that see, later. <laughs> see, Isha looking at you. She don't like when niggas is late, but go ahead. Isha, nah, let them, let Isha, them you can't you can't knock. I, I told the boss I was gonna be late. Checked in. <laughs> what time I text you this morning, Ham? Fucking 645. I checked in bright and early. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't that type of party. So <laughs> I'm sitting here and and, and I, I hear everybody's points in. I think that this is where the, this is where the backlash comes in because I I believe I mean I'm willing to be called on my shit but I think I sit in a place of an outlier yo and I'm and I'm just being real on that. I heard my man Cutino say a man can be a man and still not be a man. I don't think that's true. Uh Mr. Rivado mentioned something he said that the tenets of manhood. I would like for us the fellas could we list what those tenets are? What do you what do you identify as manhood? I'm not that's it's a different question. It's a different question than what Q said. Identify what manhood means to you. See what happened when you come late. I, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, so so when, when Q initially asked the question, uh real bravado kind of headed that off at the past because he's saying, okay, if you can't list it or you can list it, then you think it's achievable. When the truth is so much of it is intangible. No, no, I heard that. But what I'm saying is that was the, the question was why what let list the things that specifically a man can do that a woman can't. That was more so Q's question. I'm just asking in general about manhood. Period. Well, that would have been my question. Authority, authority, strength, providing and protecting, leadership, integrity, courage, compassion and uh empathy, respect for others, self-reflection and growth. So to counter to counter. Okay, and and I respect all of those. Do you believe you do you believe who you are encompasses all of those qualities? Absolutely, Mr. Bravado. Do you believe who you are encompasses all those qualities? On most days. <laughs> okay, respect that. Hey, Mr. White, do you believe who you right, are encompasses? But I don't agree with his list, right? So I'm gonna say something in terms of a man and how we grow through things and the testosterone, how we see life, how we manage our emotions, to be able to process things as a man, only another man can help me do that. You can't do that without having no experience in that. And no woman knows what it's like to be a boy and to go through puberty and to manage those thoughts and to look at how they see the world. But we can process that because we've been through those things, right? So it, it, it's, you have to experience in order to get the feedback and education needed in the tools in order to work yourself through that. So how can you teach me that if you haven't been through that? Mr. Right, that, that, that's for anything to be successful and nobody can't teach you something that they have not learned how to do. So the integrity and the courage thing, yeah, women can definitely play a role in all of those things. But me being a man, going through life changes, how can you help me as I navigate that? Mr. You can't because you don't understand was, what it's like. You're not built like me. I was trying to say early, Mr. White, no other culture is having this discussion because no other culture of women are, are out here trying to undermine or undercut or replace their men. Wow. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to keep, I'm keeping it above. I just said it wasn't a conscious thing. So now you're making it seem like we're doing it on purpose. I did not say you're doing it on purpose. But you, I think, I you think did. you just said I that we are trying to undercut. That is doing it on purpose. The, not necessarily because you can undermine yourself. You can undermine yourself. You can undermine your family. You can do all of these things not on a conscious behavior, especially when the programming and the ideology has been passed on throughout generations. We have, we're having this discussion because we've had 50 years of a fractured family unit and with our women being the heads of houses for the last 45 of those 50 years. So our women's perspective is generational perspective because all our women I've seen is their mother at the head of at the at the head of the house, and these women are turning out okay. So the men must be turning out okay. So it's a very very tunnel vision way of looking at this, uh, at things. And when you don't have the men in the house or the men in the house historically to balance that out, then we're having conversations like this. We're the only culture that's doing this crap. And we're the only ones that, and we're the, we're the only culture that's losing at family. We're losing at we're losing at family. We're losing at finance. We're, we're just losing at life because we're not together. And we're having these conversations, which I think the conversations 
are needed, but we but there we are to a degree our ladies won't accept that there is a natural order of things. And the, and the thing is our women historically has always been side by side with their men. Our women have had a position in the family that no other woman get, has has had throughout history. You almost had you almost had a parallel um positioning with your men throughout the family and that's not been good enough. So mm -hmm. now we're going to undermine the men. We're going to undercut the men. So we start asking difficult questions and now all of a sudden you want to talk about history and other cultures. You have to talk about history yeah. in order to talk about why we're why are we even having these conversations to begin with. I think because no one else, no one else uh, point out any other group that's having these that are, that are having these conversations about fatherhood. None. Right, but it seemed like you having difficulty answering the difficult questions, so you would rather go. I do not fight. have. I do not have. Can uh, we get back to what um, you uh, want to talk about uh, though? Uh, Miss Q, you want a list? <laughs> we're not gonna give you a list. But she asked the same question. We're not gonna undercut the. We're not gonna undercut so fatherhood under here. He was undercut. You see what I'm saying? We're not gonna do it. Did he not ask for? A, and he specifically said, "List." You put those words in my mouth. Chief because said, that's what you asked for. I'm not gonna pretend just you because those words in I don't my want mouth. a list. Your question for, implied that you wanted a list. That's, but he that's asked what for question one. implied. So no, I think she she referring to Chief. My list wasn't oh. necessarily about what a man can oh. do differently than a woman can. I'm sp as as it pertains to what we've listed as manhood so far. My mother taught me all of those things. But that's but Miss Chief, let me land. That's what I'm saying is maybe I worded the question the wrong way and it threw them off. Your question is that so the answer to your question is all that I was looking for in mind. Hey Chief, I got a but question. But now Adrian, yes, had to sir. did you play sports? No, but ho yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. Are you, but are the you thing is. It's not a list. That's that's the point. The things that it, it, it's not a list of things. What I gave you, that's it. Argue that. That's it. To navigate as I transition from a boy to a man with my thoughts, with my feelings, with all of my emotional changes and things that I'm experiencing. I got a boner, mom. How are you going to help me with this? There's a lot. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with encouragement and, and, and discipline, but it, it does because when I come in and I speak versus when my wife or a woman speaks, it's totally different. But we're not going to list those things because, yeah, you can have a woman with a deep voice. So that's, I think, what Mr. Bravado is saying, because the list that y'all come up with, women could do those lists, too. But you can't show us how to be something that you have no experience and no education on how to be. You can't do that. Yeah. So it's no list. You can't do that because you have no experience with doing it. And you're it's saying there's not one father or one male that would fail at any of that. No, I didn't say fail. What I'm saying is we at least have a chance. Y'all have no chance at all because we still experience right, it on some it. level. You got now, it. I don't. You got it, Mr. White. I'm not saying it. all. We gonna have to agree are to disagree. At doing it, but at least they got a shot if they got a father in the home. That's proved that the very men y'all complain about was raised by by single women. But we're gonna say, hey, they they got a chance, and, and it, no, it, it don't work like that. Right. So that's another question, though, Hamp said, because we can't talk about if the father being in the home is important. So that's all another question. Yeah, we're gonna ask another question. I think, but the key, I think, the, the just on on Mr. White's point, when Chief asked that question, he's asking it genuinely, but the outcome of it feels disingenuous to me because all those traits are gonna be transferable. Like, why wouldn't she tell you to have integrity or be honest, right? And all those other things. That's why the list is it's always going to be like, oh, well, shit, a woman could do that, too. So given that answer, we already know. It's like a setup a little bit. So but no, if, I would if I can, say, oh, a, a, a woman, a woman could do that, too. That's what y'all want to hear is this feminism bullshit that, oh, if you can be brawn, I can be brawn. If you can do this, I can do that. Anything you can do, I can do better. Nobody's no, saying no, that's not what I said either, though. So, like okay, I said, I like I just want to be clear on that. Well, let me ask you a question. Like, so do you think, yeah, well, because I want Chief, you you can go and then and then and then and then Katino wanted to ask you a question too. But, like, if I say, hey, uh, Q, can you teach your son integrity? Can you teach him to be honest? Like, the stuff that Katino, then you can say yes, is my point. And they were like, see, women can do it. That's that's all I'm saying. No, I just say, see, I, I can, but go ahead.